So I'm heading down to Cape Canaveral for the Florida Tesla Con on October 21st, and I'm doing a panel tomorrow with Chuck Cook, and Chuck was like, hey, while you're driving down here, why don't you come to Jacksonville and do my left turn with me? And I thought, wow, that sounds super fun and also utterly terrifying, so of course I want to do it. So that's where I'm headed. Got the 360 camera, got the CAN bus, <laughs> got the uh, the road microphones, got the GoPro. You have got you this up. Can you turn that one on? Absolutely. That one on the right. Yeah. You know, uh, the the button's on the, uh, nope, no, this side, the, the right side, I'm basically. Sorry. There yeah. you go. Okay. There we go. And then you <laughs> can, like it was upside you down. can clip this one on you. Heck yeah. Let me get that blue light, blue lights on. All right. And yeah, these are like my babies too. I, I really like these road mics. These are awesome. Drone is now. <laughs> At the angle, let me get the exposure right. Nice. Yep. Oh, and you've got your old phone that you record with. I got gotcha. you. So, All right. Let's make so this happen. I've got to connect to my CAN bus first, CAN server. Uh, this gets the CAN data logged. CAN server connect. I come down here. I go to quick logs. Start the raw log. It's going. Go to my screen record. <laughs> and go. screen record is going. Boy, how much? How many times this did you going. try this before you got it working? This is going. <laughs> yeah, that's always the hard part is checking to make sure they're actually operational. Now, why is your Tesla blue? <laughs> I work for JetBlue. <laughs> <laughs> oh, can you actually can you custom it? Yeah, it's a customized feature. They, oh. they added that. Okay, colorizer. Oh, that's cool. Red, red. Is that uh, starting? It's, 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 yeah, it's counting. Oh, Twenty seconds in so far. Okay. So, we are going to do Target. <laughs> oh, you've even got that all worked out. So oh, it's yeah, like it's like the, it's the destination that goes to the left. <laughs> right. And on Roosevelt Boulevard, and then we will sync up, and then I will get my clap and my horn. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> Well, you got, you got, I was like, you've got this whole thing worked out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. <laughs> and then I'm going to start my intro after the clap. Hey, YouTube. Guess what? We got a special thing for you. So John Gibbs, Dr. Know-It-All, and I are heading down to uh, Port Canaveral here in a few minutes. And I said, hey, on your way from Athens, you want to drive through Jacksonville and let's do this turn together because we said, both talked yeah. about it <laughs> and he hasn't seen it yet, you know, and while it's still in the release notes, it might not be in the release notes for much longer. That's uh, true. We figured we'd get we a video about it. Turn. So we're just going to knock out a couple turns and uh, see how it goes. Just for everybody's information, we are still on the... Um, 69.2.3. There is a rumor that 69.2.4 is out of deployments right now. We're all waiting on the new right. kind of on fire release 69.3, but that is not where we are today. We have got our turn programmed in here. I think we got every camera in the world. I got six streams <laughs> recording right now, and including <laughs> CAN bus with the yeah, uh, CAN bus the is data. recording. <laughs> and, oh, and we're gonna have some traffic to start. So there this we go. Is great. All right. We're gonna engage here. So <laughs> this really is right in front of you. So I have to say, <laughs> I was driving here, and once we got you know within a mile or yeah. so, and I was on this road, I was like, I recognize the road, and I'm terrified. <laughs> so I was already scared before we even started this because I was like, this does not look like something I would try on my own but here we go see. oh man that is nasty looking over there there's no the wonder. median there's the median let's see okay we got the creep limit Ooh. here's our stop okay creep median starting to show up there's our creep wall and here's the obstruction <laughs> and here's the traffic okay Ooh. it's going to be an easy there's one here big old but gap. we got traffic from the right so it yeah. needs to go to the median and here it should go it's going to oh go to the median gosh. this guy's hauling ass though tiny and it's going to whoop and then right there. <laughs> Round <great>. one. <laughs> Round one to the Tesla. <laughs> I did it. I did wow, it. that wasn't too bad. I mean, but so, still, it was a little less aggressive than I would have hoped. Yeah. You know, you kind of want to like, once you start, you got to commit. <laughs> so yeah. you do. But that was great. That was okay. Great. Round one. Excellent. Now we just right. circle and back. That's and where I it. clip my videos and then yeah. I come back around. We can talk on yours. If you yeah, want. That's, that's fine. fine. I do a UE here and um, I always kind of check, make sure everything's still recording because right. how many times have you started recording oh, and realized it wasn't the working? The worst thing is this phone because if somebody makes a phone call or something, it'll sometimes turn off the recording and it's sitting back where this is, yeah. you know, so I can't see the light. Yeah. And I keep wondering, I need one of those little mirror things that you can like put, like, ah, what is it? 
not like a dentist mirror, but you know, so you can like look behind and like look in the mirror and see if the red light's on. So I can see my camera when I kind of. So oh, yeah, I can so see you can that see one. the light on. I can on. see yeah. the light with the way yeah. I've done this trip go. on here. It works pretty good. That's a good idea. So we've got a good traffic. This is kind of where I look in the rearview mirror now and I kind of see what's behind me. Right. Because I very quickly, what I do is I hit cancel. Right. And I will get kind of, I'm looking behind going, okay, where is it? The traffic's kind of, kind of light right now. So I'm going to yeah. let two to three cars pass and then I'm going to go. Okay. So then I get the route up. And my neighbors here that all live around me are like, what is he doing? <laughs> He's got you know, cameras everywhere. Right. And when the New York Times came out and filmed, we filmed right here in this corner. There were cameramen wow. and everybody. A, well, plus, of course, Tesla's, you know, unmarked black cars that are out here. Apparently. Yep, doing the same thing. Yeah. They don't so, have cameras on them, so they're trying right, to be right, incognito. Right. <laughs> all right, we've got our route set back up. But still, they've got to have figured out at this point. They've got to be like, what I, is going on? I've <laughs> talked to most of my neighbors, so they were kind of aware. Right. And here we go. Round two. All righty. Stop line is very consistent. I always like to make sure the median's working. Right. Oh, it's, and it sees that. Okay. And just so you yeah. know, that fourth tree is 80 meters. Okay. Uh, so you've actually got wide open here. But look at the traffic from the right. Ooh, this way. Okay. That did not look good. So this looks terrible. Okay. Ooh, now it needs my, to get its butt my, out of the median. My, 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 my. And there it is. It's perfectly wow. placed in the median. That is impressive. Now, I like to pull up the repeater camera because look at this repeater view right here, Don. Yeah. It's got a better view. In this we pose, do. than we do. No, right. Ooh, it almost jumped out in front of that guy. Yeah. And now here we go, and then now it's going to go. Uh, you pretty much got it worked out. That yeah. is, I have to say, that median is like the smallest median. <laughs> I don't think I would try to go into that median. Yeah. I think I would wait <laughs> until well, it's clear. The pose is the magic. <laughs> right. It, it does a little bit of a right, then a left, gets in there at an yeah. angle, puts the repeater in the best place to get the view. And then it just waits, and, it, and, it, and obviously, a lot of people say, hey, they've overfit for Chuck's turn. Right. But yes, with this raised medium, with that size, yes. the testing they did, they perfected that. But in right. perfecting it, what they did was they added that median network. Right. And they added that creep limit. Now, what I really can't wait to see is if in this next release on dot three, right. we get a median network that works on non-raised medians. That's gonna open up a yes. whole nother set. Cause I believe that UPL you were testing didn't have a raised median. No, right? and actually being... I discovered apparently legally, you're not allowed to sit in that lane oh, as you pull no. out. It's, it's considered to be a turn lane. Wow. Now, I mean, the fact of the matter is that everybody uses yeah. it. I mean, you know, I'm not a young man and I've been driving a long time and that was the first time I discovered that that was not officially legal, but. Wow. Um, How did you discover that? Was that uh, a comment? A comment, yeah. Because I, I pulled into the lane and I was like, yeah. oh, it'll, let's see if it'll sit here. And they were like, you're not allowed to do that. So, <laughs> so I said, well, you learn something new every day, wow. I guess. <laughs> That's good. All right, the traffic on this next slug, I was looking in the rear view mirror. Yeah. It's nice and it's coming. Right. I get the map. I get. It I like to remap it every time, so it yes. kind of gets rid of any memory. Right. right. And then I look behind. So it. you can just engage it. Up, I mean, this is what 30, 40 feet. Yeah. I mean, if it feel. does the stop sign, I know it's engaged. Like yeah. if it knows the stop line and right. then does the creep, creeping forward for visibility. Yeah. And so here's where I start leaning, and it's gonna have to wait. It needs to wait. Ooh. Oh, and we got a big truck here. Yeah. Now look, one, <laughs> two, three, four trees. That's 80 meters. Okay, one, two, three. Okay, really, that's look how 80 much meters? You, look how much further you and I are seeing. Oh, yeah. A thousand at least, right? Yeah, that's crazy. That's 80 meters to that fourth tree. With a laser rangefinder from right My here. My goodness. It really doesn't seem like it would, it's quite that far. Now, look, it's got some more creep limit here. It's not using right. it. Right. It's very comfortable that it's... Now, here's where it's going to go. Okay. See that and now it's definitely going to have to stop. So, it is. It's doing this little right... It's like doing a little jig. Right. But it's like well, a that right... That was a, a nice little, little boost there in right, the end. Right, right. Because it had to get out of the way. <laughs> That was really good, the way it used that acceleration to get this into the medium. This feels, I, you know, whether or not they overfit to your turn, this really, really feels very confident. Like, I yeah. think, honestly, I, I, I would, like, this was actually teaching me how I should Don't do go. this. Don't go, 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 go. Okay. <laughs> All right. It went into the lane. That, right. that is the scenario where it jumps into traffic. Yeah. And, and it was expecting the guy that's going 50 miles an hour behind right. me to slow down. Right. I... Did you feel the acceleration I used there? Oh, hell yeah. And look how close that guy is behind me. Yeah, I mean, he's not, yeah. It, it was, <laughs> that would have gotten a going around me and the finger if right. I hadn't given oh, it that Oh, somebody's that doing air show day. stuff there. The Blue Angels here this weekend. Oh, oh my yeah. gosh, wow. Yeah, they're doing their practice show today, know, tomorrow, great. and then their full show is on Sunday. 
well, there you go. Extra bonus. Yeah. <laughs> to watch the air show while we're doing it. Yeah. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the, and I've often found that that's the case is, it's one of those things like always, if you're going to commit, commit hard. Yeah. <laughs> At least up to the speed limit, right? <laughs> yes, Don't, exactly. Well, you know, right, right. Don't there, accelerate gently. It's like, now there's an the acceleration jerk curve that they're p tweaking to say, yeah. what is the comfortable curve for, for, right. for that? But I also think that the visibility or the range it can see in right. high speed traffic, both right. for that merge and coming from the side is a limiting factor still. It's making yes. decisions to go and then it's seeing something right. and it really isn't use a, using what I would call an oh shit acceleration, like I shouldn't have done that. Right. What it does <laughs> is it either second guesses itself right. and stops which or is really just, bad. <laughs> or it just meanders out there right. and sort of expects the other car to yield, which is dangerous on the on the cross beam traffic. When yeah. you jump out in front and, and merging traffic, it's just one of those scenarios where you could get tail ended. Right. Uh, if somebody was texting or something like that yeah. on their phone and wouldn't pay attention. Well, it's it's one of those things where you don't want to be a jerk. Right. If right. you're going to pull out in front of somebody, do not make them tap right. the brakes. Like that's kind of my general rule. Exactly. So and, and, and this car has the acceleration to make it happen. Yep. So it certainly can do it. it. But it would probably violate the comfort curve they're trying to use. Right. And that's where we get into, I have said this a few times on Twitter, I wish it had an escape maneuver mode. Like, ah, yeah. Uh, yeah, I shouldn't have gone, but I know I can right. solve this with this acceleration. And on the highway, that same escape maneuver, I think needs to be able to break a speed limit and or the set speed in order yeah, to get out of a bad exactly. situation. Um, That's the only times I've ever gotten dings with full self-driving beta was when the, the speed limit was set to 80 and I'd get caught between yeah. two trucks or Traffic vehicles and, and we're, we're going, oh, this should be, wide open. This this should is, be super easy. But look, look how it's still getting Oh, it's got a nice, yeah, that's and great. Let's see what acceleration it uses on that one. The same exact curve, almost not enough. Look, yes. here we're 30. Right, and you can see this guy starting to come up. Yeah. So, and, and it is one of those things where when a shock, um, and I, I keep mispronouncing his name, so now I'm scared to even say it anymore. <laughs> yeah. Dr. Eloswami. Anyway, when he when he was talking about the occupancy networks, you can see that the volume is very heavily favored towards the front. Yeah. And so he told yeah. me it was 120 meters total, and so it's pretty obviously 20 meters behind and 100 meters in front, or something yeah. along the way. I mean, lines. this obviously is the best narrow field forward view camera. Yes. Stated at 250 meters. Right. So it has the most range there. Right. But it's uh, the occupancy network network that's going to be the kind of determining factor yeah. and if it's only looking back 20 or 30 meters that's not adequate when you know when people are going <laughs> not when that camera is right. making that decision now granted right. the repeater camera also could be used there right and um, <laughs> I like that move too there. <laughs> <laughs> that was a human move <laughs> that was a human move <laughs> that's one of those things that's a Tesla move specifically that's not something yeah. you're going to do in your Toyota Corolla but speaking whatever. of which that is a U-turn I just did this car right. can't do that yet. yes that's true it, it needs needs to figure out that. And, and when you do a U-turn, do you go on the far lane? Do you go in the near yes, lane? How exactly. do you measure whether or not you're going to be able to make well, it without a three-point turn? Well, and turning radius, yeah, yep. all of that it stuff is very has to be very, very accurate because if you think you're going to make it and then you don't right. in this kind of traffic, yeah. you're in a you're in a world you know, of hurt. Yeah, you're in a world of hurt. Right. So you've <laughs> got to have absolute confidence of your of returning radius and the time right. it will take you to do it with oncoming right. traffic. So I don't know, maybe the fact they haven't done U-turns is on purpose because it's hard. Yeah. Um, and I, yeah, I don't know. It's it, gonna require quite a, you're right. I mean, the biggest thing is it's gonna require a significant distance estimation. Like and, how much distance do I have to make this turn? You remember how semis Where's, used to jump next to us because that was the only camera that was doing the looking? Yeah. Because there's no parallax to right, measure exactly. a beam distance. At. Exactly. So I, I don't know, maybe. It could do it in a moving sense. As you moved past it, it would be able to get a sense. But also, you know, one thing, the one downside for Tesla's is they have atrociously bad turning radii. Yeah, so yeah. they're not like I've often gotten myself in situations where I'm like, well, that's going to be a three point turn. Exactly. Now. <laughs> so, <laughs> okay, let's see what we got here. We're going to try, right. we're going to uh, let's peek out a little bit. Okay, it needs to wait. This is good. Oh, wow, a semi coming to me. Oh. It sees him, no problem. But I like yeah. to sometimes when I know I'm waiting, look yeah. to see when they show up and kind of right. compare that to that fourth tree. Right. I do think they show up before the fourth tree, but it's not much. It's not much, right? Mm -hmm. But see, that's the, but anyway, my understanding is. Now, here's a gap is, I'm afraid it's going to go for. 
Okay. Oh, Lord. Oh, my God. Did you see him tap thank, his brakes? Yeah, thank you for stopping. <laughs> yeah. So did you feel like it was going to go? Oh, yeah. Most people, when they look from these drone views, go, oh, you could have made it. Mm, and No. It, mm. it, in my mind, it wasn't even close because there were so many cars. Right. And the... So I'm gonna, we, yeah, we the, can rewind and try again. Yeah, yeah. because of the the uh, there's nobody behind me. We get this well. Situation. I think the camera view is one of those things where people really get a misunderstanding of. Yeah, that was one of those like it, it, you could have if you jammed it on, gotten to the median. But, but I don't it, trust that it'll do that. Well, yet. but also if somebody had pulled into the median, you have zero room for error. Okay, now but, here's the gap, yeah. and we're gonna have to wait in the median, maybe. Now here, now watch this. I bet it waits and waits on that guy in the far lane, whereas a human would use the right. closest lane. Right. So it's still waiting on everything to be clear before yeah, it jumps in. Yeah, interesting. Yeah. So it's not making a distinction. But that was, it was one of those situations where if everything had been perfect and this, and you knew this side was clear, yeah, you could have jumped it and gone. Yeah. But, <laughs> Any error in that would lead to an accident immediately. Yeah. Was just like, well, so I'm, I think I'm going to end on that one because I think we got to see the situation right, to where right. what I tried to articulate is that that camera range saw a gap. Right. You and I were seeing much further right. and had already made the decision. <laughs> it can't go. Exactly. And I verbalized that I thought it was going to go right. for that. So you definitely know this particular... I, I, well, I, the speed and the range, the camera right. hadn't seen that right. slug of traffic behind that tiny little hole yet yeah, and made exactly. the assumption that it was completely clear behind right. it. So that's where we get into this occupancy network discussion of, is it putting shadow cars? Now, that wasn't an occlusion. We know they're putting shadow right. cars behind occlusions. That was a range thing. Yes, exactly. And... But this is where you're limited. If it's if it's a 120 meter box that you're in and it can only see that far, then that's all you get. Because at this speed, yeah, and these you'll cover cars, that real fast. It's about three and a half seconds, yeah. of yeah. of decision time. Right. So, I think they can continue to work on it. I'm really excited. Maybe well, the, the biggest matter. thing my understanding is is that there's going to be a variable variable resolution infinite distance yeah. uh, occupancy network. Which means that what it'll do is be able to look infinitely far away. Well, I mean, you know, to the sky. Yeah. But it'll be able to look further and further away. So it will be able to make out cars that are further away. So whenever version that is that they roll yeah. it in, which I hope will be 69.3, yeah. fingers crossed that will be the moment where it'll go like, oh, that's a bad idea to try yeah. to go right now because I see a bunch of other cars coming. Exactly. So, yeah. Well, but, but what do you think? I think that was great. And it's terrifying. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, the first couple of times it wasn't that bad because it actually had a pretty good gap. Yeah. But getting into that median was crazy. But it actually handled that really well. But the the, the decision making about pulling out was the part that was that yeah. was disturbing. Yeah. And and, and again, that, that what you said, oh shit, where it, it's like if it's gonna go, it needs to go. Yeah. It's like I've committed, I'm yeah. going. <laughs> and that's where yeah. you know if there are new new drivers coming out and and you're right. testing it, just don't mess around with it. You know, yeah. make the decision that you would make. If you wouldn't go, then don't let the car go. Right. You know, there are some situations to where humans are a little bit more conservative, right. but I don't have the trust yet that it's going to use the necessary acceleration every single time for right. me to just trust it. So I, yeah. you know, if I feel it, maybe I would. But if it starts right. creeping out there without the jerk, I need, <laughs> right. then I use. Abort. That would be the thing. <laughs> Honestly, if that had gone bam and just gone, you might have I would have said like, okay, let's let's run with it and see what yeah. happens. But the other thing right. is in those tight gaps, as a human, I've got to look to the right, double exactly. check the median's empty, and look to the right. left to make sure the car is making right. the right choice. The car can see a lot more right. in an unincluded environment um, that sometimes it is making those right decisions. Well, hey, John, like, this was fun. That's awesome. Thank I mean, you. I really great. appreciate it. That's like so much fun. I know, and we're going to be talking <laughs> on the stage tomorrow. I wonder what we're yeah, going to talk about. I think we'll talk about this. <laughs> to start with. <laughs> All right, everybody. Leave some comments below. Subscribe to Dr. know channel or my channel. Leave comments below. We'd love to hear from you. Absolutely. And thank you so much. Have All a right. great day. Yep. Bye-bye. Bye-bye.